See? The creek just rolled over. It just lay down. And look how immature it is. And then uh, contrast this with the headland up okay. here. Look at these wheat heads, straight as an arrow, perfectly straight, no lodging. There they are, look, perfectly straight. In front of me is the field that's been farmed for a hundred years where the copper has disappeared in the top six to eight inches of soil. We are looking at copper induced lodging. See it? It just lay down and it's green. Any doubts? Any thoughts? This wheat is approaching maturity and it's ready for swathing or maybe in a little while, maybe direct combining. They're at the hard dough stage. They're on their way to maturity. This wheat had sufficient copper. This is some of the lodged wheat. This is from the lodged part of the field, the copper deficient part of the field. The crop is lodged, it lay down. It didn't break down, it lay down. And that copper deficiency, if you look, the grains in there, this thing is still green. The wheat is a week or 10 days behind. And see it, it's still in a soft dough stage. Hey, what's happening here? You see, lodging, delayed maturity. And if I keep looking, there'll be ergots in there. If your chickens are short, you feed them copper, copper supplement, why? Because the feed coming off the prairies right now is low in copper. Not all feed, but most feeds. That's why you feed them supplements. If your field needs copper, feed it copper supplement. For God's sake, do it. And don't think, I don't think, or I don't know, or come up with this dumb hullabaloo as the wheat's too tall, there's too much nitrogen, uh, it's prolonged flowering that results in ergot. That's nonsense. Absolutely nonsense has been disposed of ages ago. What you're looking at is plain and simple, the deficiency of one mineral essential for the growth of the wheat. Copper. I'm wearing blue in honor of copper. A blue t-shirt, a blue spade, and my copper hat. Do you believe Dr. Copper now? Has it taken you 50 years, 40 years, 20 years to realize that crops like wheat and barley in particular, in some areas, 35% of Alberta, have become copper deficient. On the prairies, less so in Manitoba, less so in Saskatchewan, but especially on sandy and peaty soils, we have copper deficiency. So what do we do? If we get lodging, ergot, and late maturity, we add copper. We add nitrogen, we add phosphate, we add potash. Ladies, gentlemen, correct the problem and you'll avoid what's behind me. Severe lodging, late maturity, and ergot in the grain. Thank you.